Hi, welcome to Plaza 2019. You're here with Dennis on the Laser World stand, and I'm here with Ledger Tech to show you some of the latest products and uh, our new latest innovations. So uh, I'll start straight away with our new uh, Shownet card. It's been around for a little while as a external hardware box, but this uh, hardware box can connect to any laser system and turn a traditional ILDA laser into network control. It comes with free show editor software and uh, has an innovative DMX control, which I'll talk about later. Now this Shownet card is also is, as I said, as a network, but we've also integrated it, which is the latest development, into our laser systems. So all our laser systems from the DS range and above come as standard with the new Shownet card integrated into the laser. And you can see this here, right on the back of the unit. It's got a LAN uh, Ethercon connection, uh, which will basically connect straight to your laptop. If you control multiple units, you can go through uh, uh, it's the uh, router or uh, network switch and uh, it'll give you complete control over your laser system. You can then in the admin tool go through different settings, uh, change how the laser is going to work for you, whether it's via Artnet, DMX, uh, software control, uh, and uh, then change settings, change scan angles and everything that uh, color balance that you require. So it's a really innovative product, but it's coming as standard, it's not an additional cost into our laser systems. So uh, it really gives you an innovative uh, control over the uh, overall our laser system. So and our laser systems from the DS range, the Pure Light series, uh, it's included in our TOM uh, German manufactured laser systems and our RTI manufactured laser systems, or most in the range. Uh, you have different then options to choose and stare, whether it's like a, a Pangolin FD4 system, it would still be an option if that's your chosen control method. But I want to go a bit more into what's so good about the uh, Shonet. So besides uh, just being an integrated card, it comes with a show editor software. You'll be able to go to the website and read more into that. It comes with standard software, which will give you uh, over 250 animations, two, or 500 animations, 250 shows uh, pre-built into the software. You can then uh, use the editing software to create your own animations, do timelines and different things. Uh, you can also then choose to have an upgraded option on the software. Uh, we have now our show controller software. And the show controller software is a more intuitive uh, software uh, very nicely laid out and it's nice design, uh, more hands-on and easy to control, and it's only an upgrade for a few hundred, uh, few hundred pounds, so it really isn't an expensive way of uh, having good control of your laser systems, from creating animations or text to the live control window, which you're looking at here, and the live control has nice uh, basic patterns through all different uh, pattern sets of around 500 animations and growing. Uh, you can control all your scan settings, your zoning, uh, safety zones, uh, and it also has a nice layout which will connect straight to your keyboard for easy control, or you can uh, use uh, MIDI controllers. Some are already pre-mapped into the software, uh, so it really gives you flexibility. But the, also, the other nice new touch with the uh, shown that card is the DMX is intuitive. It's working in a way that basically really syncs in with DMX controllers very easily, just like your lighting, moving heads, the way it's been designed. I know that sounds like simple and standard, but in laser terms, a lot of people used to ha have a lot of problems controlling lasers via DMX. So we feel we've changed that. We've got a standard uh, DJ mode, a basic sort of uh, easy to get up and running. Uh, mode for the DMX and also professional mode which gives you 24 channels of uh, DMX to control your, your dimming, your color balance, your scan size, etc. And this whole show that we have on here today where we have, we have 13 lasers on our stand, they're all being controlled via DMX rather than traditionally by software. So we have a big row of DS2000s across the back wall, uh, they're all being controlled by the Avalite's Tiger Touch and one thing that really impressed me in the setup is something where this show would have taken a whole day to program all the zones and everything. Uh, Tom Cole, our lighting designer, uh, literally had this done within a couple of hours. It was so quick, so simple, so easy. So I'm going to lead you on to Tom to explain a little bit more on how he's programmed the uh, 
the lasers via the Avalite's Tiger Touch and to really show you how easy and simple it can be. So we've got eight units that we've got up here that are all being controlled by DMX, which are being run off the lighting console here. Now, using them in DMX, it takes away that we don't need the laptop control anymore. Uh, so inside here, we have options. Uh, we have our DMX profile here that has our dimmer channels. So it means we can now individually control the lasers and put dimmer chasers across them. Uh, what we also have is uh, the color function. So we either have just like a standard color wheel, preset colors, or we can now do color mixing on the, light, on the lighting console, individual to each laser, uh, which are shown here. Which now allows us to do pixel mapping uh, with our lasers as well. We, uh, along with the other units, we have a master pixel map that runs across the LED buttons that we've got on the stand as well. So it means it gives us full control of one console. So if I was to take it out of the program, I have now got full RGB control across my lighting system and my laser system. So allow me to change the show a lot quicker. Uh, the, sh the shapes of the laser are all done in s on the program here, which is basically in the gobo function. So it's just really as you would a lighting fixture, you'd have a gobo select. We're doing exactly the same way, uh, but a shape select, which in here we have two 255 possible shapes you can load up to the card. Now at the moment these units are usually loaded with about 80, but there's a lot more room to kind of add more and to create your own custom ones as well. So for doing that, you then go on to the actual software, choose what shapes you want, and then you have the ability then to load it onto the card. And then once that's done, you wouldn't need to touch the software again. So yeah, that is basically DMX control in a nutshell. If you've got any more questions or want to know, uh, just go to Leisure Tech. Thank you.